This is the beginning of a new section which is known as the transformation technique. In section 7.1 the CDF technique was introduced and what the CDF technique did was it took you from the CDF of X which is capital F sub X of X to the CDF of Y which is capital F sub Y of Y. This technique is slightly different and at least in the discrete case it takes you from the probability mass function f sub x of x to the probability mass function f sub y of y. When we get to this for the continuous case it'll take you from the probability density function f sub x of x to f sub y of y. As usual there is only one example given in the uh, videos here so make sure to read the uh, multiple examples that are typically given in the chapter. Here's the theorem. Let x be a discrete random variable with probability mass function f sub x of x defined on the support script A. Let y equals g of x be a one-to-one -one transformation that maps script A to script B. If x equals g inverse of y is the inverse transformation for every y an element of script B, then the probability mass function of y equals g of x is f sub y of y is equal to f sub x of g inverse of y for every y an element of B. So basically this is a formula that you plug into once you have established all of the assumptions associated with the theorem. Here is a proof of the theorem. The probability mass function of y is f sub y of y. By the definition of a probability mass function, that is the probability that the random variable y is equal to y. Then going from here to here, we simply replace the random variable y with its transformation, which is g of x and that is assumed right up here. Next you take the equality g of x is equal to y and you take g inverse of both sides. What allows you to take g inverse? We have already assumed that it is a one-to-one -one transformation and one-to-one -one functions have inverses so the one-to-one -one assumption is being used here. And finally the probability that x is equal to something is the probability mass function evaluated at that something. So that is once again using the definition of the probability mass function this time in the other direction. This leads us to basically an algorithm. This one will have six steps for finding the distribution of y equals g of x. And in fact not only is it finding the distribution in this case, more specifically, it's finding the probability mass function of y equals g of x. Step one, determine the support of x, which is denoted by script A. That's exactly the same step as we had in the CDF technique, but now it changes in step two. Determine the probability mass function of x, which is denoted by f sub x of x. Last time we were defining, we were finding CDFs here we're finding probability mass functions. Step three, confirm that y equals g of x is a one-to-one -one function of script A. This is one of the assumptions that is in the theorem on the previous slide. If g is a one-to-one -one function on script A, then what you want to do is find its inverse. Why are we finding its inverse? Because we're going to use the inverse down here. Step five, deport, determine the support of the random variable y which is denoted by script B and finally step six determine the probability mass function of the random variable y which is f sub y of y equals f sub x of g inverse of y for every y an element of B by the theorem. These six steps will be numbered on the examples which follow.